guys and welcome. Welcome again to another episode of The Seaman Vlogger. So for today's vlog, we are going to talk about the Beaufort scale. So what we are waiting for, let's begin. Okay guys, so Beaufort scale, uh, we are using this on, uh, on board the vessel, especially um, uh, measuring the speed of the wind by knots or meter per second. So first of all, what is Beaufort scale? Beaufort scale. The Beaufort scale is an empirical measure that relates wind speed to observed condition at sea or on land. Its full name is Beaufort wind or scale. History. The scale was devised in 1805 by the Irish hydrographer Francis Beaufort, later Rear Admiral a Royal Navy officer, while serving on HMS Woolwich. The scale that carries Beaufort's name had a long and complex evolution from the previous work of other, including Daniel Defoe, the century before, to when Beaufort was hydrographer of the Navy in 1830s when it was adopted officially and first used during the voyage of HMS Beagle under Captain Robert Fitzroy, who was later to set up the first meteorological office in Britain, giving regular weather forecast. In the 18th century, naval officers made regular weather observations, but there was no standard scale and so they could be very subjective. The man's stiff breast might be another soft breast before succeeded in standardizing the scale. The initial scale of 13 classes, 0 to 12, did not reference wind speed, numbers but relatively qualitative with wind condition to effect on sails of a frigate. Then the main shift of Royal Navy from just sufficient to give steerage to that which no canvas sails could withstand. The scale was made a standard for ship's log entries on Royal Navy vessels in the late 1830s and was adapted to non-naval use from the 1850s with scale number corresponding to the cup anemometer rotations. In 1853, the Beaufort scale was accepted as generally applicable at the first international meteorological conference in Brussels. In 1916, to accommodate the growth of the steam power, the description were changed out to the sea, not the sails. Behave the extended to land observations. Rotations to scale. Numbers were standardized only in 1923. George Simpson, CBE, later Sir George Simpson, director of the UK Meteorological Office, was responsible for this and for the addition of the land-based description. The measures were slightly altered some decades later to improve its utility to meteorologists. Nowadays, meteorologists typically express wind speed in kilometers per hour or miles per hour, but Beaufort scale terminology is still used for weather forecasts for shipping and the serve weather warnings given to the public. So okay guys, now we know what is the Beaufort scale and the history of Beaufort scale. So on board the vessel, we have from 0 to 12 force of Beaufort scale. So here it is. Beaufort force 0. Wind speed less than 1 knot. See like mirror. Beaufort force number 1. Wind speed 1 to 3 knots. Sea wave height 0.1 meter. 0.25 feet. Ripples with the appearance of scale but without foam crest. Beaufort force number two. Wind speed 4 to 6 knots. Sea wave height 0.2 to 0.3 meters or 0.5 to 1 feet. Small wavelengths crest have a glassy appearance and do not break. Beaufort force number 3. Wind speed 7 to 10 knots. Sea wave height 0.1 to 1 meter or 2 to 3 feet. 
large wavelengths press begin to break any foam must glassy appearance scattered white caps viewport force number four wind speed 11 to 16 knots moderate breeze sea condition small waves becoming longer fairly frequent white forces probably wave height 1 to 1.5 meters or 3.5 to 5 feet Viewport force number 5. Wind speed 17 to 21 knots. Sea wave height 2 to 2.5 meters or 6 to 8 feet. Moderate waves taking more pronounced long form. Many white forces. Chances of some spray. Viewport force number 6. Wind speed 22 to 27 knots. Sea wave height. 3 to 4 meters or 9.5 to 13 feet. Larger waves began to form spray is present. White foam crests are everywhere. Beaufort force number 7. Wind speed 28 to 33 knots. Sea wave height is 4 to 5.5 meters or 13.5 to 19 feet. Sea hips up. White foam from breaking waves began to be blown in straight along the wind direction. Viewport force number 8. Wind speed 34 to 40 knots. Sea wave height 5.5 to 7.5 meters or 18 to 25 feet. Moderately high waves of greater length edge of press begin to break into spin drift, foam blown in the well-marked streak along wind direction. Viewfort force number 9. Wind speed 41 to 47 knots. Sea wave height from 7 meters to 10 meters or 23 to 32 feet. High wave dense streak from foam along the direction of the wind Wave crests begin to topple, tumble, and roll over. Spray may affect visibility. Beaufort force number 10. Wind speed 48 to 55 knots. Sea wave height is from 9 meters to 12.5 meters or 29 to 41 feet. Very high waves with long overchanging crest, the resulting foam. In great patches is blown in dense white streak along wind direction. On the whole sea surface takes a white appearance, tumbling of the sea is heavy and shock like visibility affected. Beaufort force number 11. Wind speed 56 to 63 knots. Sea wave height 11.5 to 16 meters or 37 to 52 feet. Exceptionally high waves, small medium sized ships may be lost to view behind the waves. Sea completely covered with the long white patches of foam lying along wind direction everywhere. The edge of the wave crests are blown in the front. Viewport force number 12. Wind speed 64 knots. Sea completely white with driving spray visibility very seriously affected. The air is filled with foam and spray. Okay guys, so now you know what is the Beaufort skin. And if you like this vlog, kindly like and subscribe to my Facebook page, YouTube channel, and of course, TikTok. The name is the Seaman Flagger. Seaman Flagger. Okay, guys. So I have a second YouTube channel, which is the Marino Game Republic. It's a full game channel. I will leave the description below the link. And yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you kindly like and subscribe too. So what am I doing to this channel? Here it is. Enemy dropping into the AR. B 
Be advised, UAV is bingo fuel. RTB for resupply. Sorry, sorry. Hi guys, thank you very much. I completed my vlog. See you on my next vlog. Bye. Bye.